Okay, fifth grade, lesson 119. We are learning about dividing by a decimal number today. Okay, so so far, like two lessons ago, you learned how to divide something like this, right? What was your very first step? Um, moving up the decimal. Very good. Okay, and then we worked the problem like normal. Remember, we did three times four, and we wrote it over here instead of here. Yeah. Because we're working with the whole number 12. Remember, you don't even have to do that. Yes. The zero, remember? So then 4 times 3 is 12, and that's it. So what do we do with this spot and this spot? Uh, we well, fill it up with zeros. Fill them up with zeros. Excellent job. Okay, that's what we learned a few days ago, okay? Today's is just a little bit different, okay? Tell me if you can see the difference on this one. Okay? What is the difference on this one? Um, I think it's the, that it has two digits on the other side. This one? Yes. Okay, and what do you notice is in between those digits? A decimal. Okay, did the other one have a decimal? No. The other one looks like this. Right? Yes. The other one looked like that, and we just took the decimal and slid it up. Well, it always had the point behind it. Even, even though you couldn't yeah. see it. Okay, so what kind of number is this? This a is whole the number? decimal number, this is the whole number. Whenever you are dividing, you have to divide by a whole number. Okay. Always. Okay? So watch mm -hmm. this trick I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to move the decimal over here to the right. Okay. That makes it a whole number, right? Mm -hmm. And because I moved this decimal one spot, I'm going to move this decimal one spot. Okay. Okay? It kind of it's funny that it would do that, but it actually makes it okay to do that. Okay. okay. So I'm going to take off this, put my decimal here, which we don't really need because it's always at the end of every number. But this one I moved, and it ends up in the middle. Okay. okay. Now, what should I do with that decimal? Because now it's the same type of number we had the other day. This uh, is a whole number, and this is just a decimal We just number. work it like usually. You work it like usual. Okay, so what should I do with this decimal? We'll slide it up. Slide it up right here. Okay. See that? Okay. Now, we are, we're going to go three goes into 12. Two, 12. You act like this decimal is not here when you're working. Four it. times, though. Okay, four times. And where am I going to put the four? Uh, after the decimal on top. Very good. Four goes right there. Four times three is 12. And we end it up. Okay? Now, if you want to fill, fill in these other spots right here, to. you can. Yeah. Got it? Okay. Pretty simple? Yep. Okay, let's try another one. We'll do one more before you actually do it on your own, okay? Ready? Write this on your paper. 0 0.6. Okay. And then 2.34. So 2.34 divided by 0 0.6. Tell me what my very first step is. Four. We move the decimals over. Very good. So you should have immediately gone, oh, this one's not a whole number. I need to do something with it first. So you don't want to just to go up here and slide it and go, okay, I'm ready. Yeah. Like you're used to doing. You want to check and see if this is a whole number first. Mm -hmm. If it's not a whole number, we're going to make it a whole number. So always if it's not a home no whole number, we use it on the, ins we change it on the inside too. Right. Okay. okay. So this one moves one spot. Okay. This one moves one spot. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go and erase this. And this. Okay, now what do I do with that decimal? Slide it up. Slide it up. Excellent job. Now, let's work this problem. This says 6 goes into, uh, you want to do 23? 23, yes. Yeah, okay, 6 times 4 is 24. 6 so times 3 is 18. 3. Yep. Since we have to go. Okay. Okay, so that gives us 5. 18, 5. Okay. Subtract and then we right now my bring four. down the four, and then it goes into fifty-four. This is one of our nines, nine ones. Uh, so nine times six is fifty-four. Uh, and nine times six is fifty-four. Is it even like that? Right. So my answer okay. is three point nine. And if I wanted to, I could add a zero in that spot if I wanted to. It's not. It's okay if I don't. But I can also do it if I want to. Yeah. And that is lesson one nineteen.